Today I'm going to be sharing a few of my current crafty, stationery, creative favourites. I was going to start up my monthly favourites again, but I thought actually month to month I don't necessarily change my favourites that often. So instead what I'm going to do is when something new pops up that I've noticed myself using more often, I'm going to make a note of it in my planner and then when I have a little list together I will share them with you guys. So yeah, don't expect these videos every single month. So the first one is actually my planner. I have only been using this probably three-ish weeks. I have had it sitting on my desk for over a month now. If you saw my planner setup video, you'll know that I have wanted to move into this since December. So I've had it on my desk and I was kind of deciding how I wanted it to be set up before I actually set it up. And I absolutely love it. I am a big fan of the Filofax Originals. So this color in particular is one of my favorites. So yeah, if you haven't tried out a Filofax Original, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. My next favorite favourites are all kind of one thing. They're all watercolour sets and I was going to choose one and I thought, you know what, I'm going to share them all. <laughs> Mainly because when I choose to do some watercolouring, I bring out all of my sets. I don't just pick one. I don't necessarily use them all, but I always give myself the option to. So these two are Windsor & Newton and these two are Prima. This is my first watercolour set. Um, it's very, very used. <laughs> I actually got this set for college, I think, or school, possibly. I've had it a long time, but I never really used it back then. And recently, obviously, I found a love for watercolouring and I have absolutely gone to town on these. Not so much these colours, but these colours are... Yeah, nearly, nearly hitting the pan. I then got this set in the Amazon Black Friday sales. The RRP is 80 something pounds, which I never would have paid for watercolors, but they were down to 23 pounds, I think, in the Amazon sale. It's currently on Amazon for 60 something pounds. So yeah, if you're after it, I would say hang about because you can get it for cheaper. But yeah, when I saw it for 23 pounds, I had to get it because the colours in there, you can't really tell from here, but they are really, really nice colours. And the Windsor & Newton Wars colours are amazing. They're kind of one of those brands where you can't really go wrong with them. So yeah, I was very happy when I got that on Amazon. So that's kind of like my core watercolour set with all the colours. Then I have a little portable one with kind of like primary colours, I suppose. There's nothing... There's no pinks or purples, like if I want those I have to mix them myself. And then these sets I got at Planicon Europe. So I got this set which is the classics and as you can guess it has kind of like the standard colours in. You've got your red, your blue, your green, yellow. But this one does have pink and purple in it as well. And a black which the Windsor & Newton one doesn't have. The Windsor & Newton one just has a really dark brown which was kind of frustrating when I only had this set. And then I also got the Tropical set which has an absolutely beautiful yellow yellow in. I can't get over the yellow and the pink. Those two together are just absolutely beautiful. I've been using these so much recently in my journals, for my Patreon stuff. Basically anytime I get the option to slap some paint down, I will. <laughs> to go alongside my watercolours, I have this paintbrush. This is the Dela Rowney 30 brush. It's a pretty chunky brush. <laughs> you might have seen me using it already in a few of my videos. But yeah, I'm really happy with this brush. The only thing that is kind of frustrating is it kind of frays a bit. It isn't so bad when you're using it. It doesn't show up that bad. It could be how I rinse my brushes in the water. But other than that, it's a really good brush. If you're trying to get a lot of colour on a background of a page, then I would say the bigger the brush, the better. And when you're doing that, it is so much fun with a big brush. So that's why I've chosen this for my favourites because when it comes to doing my backgrounds, this is a paintbrush I grab for now. I don't choose any of my other ones, I go straight for this one. Again, going along with my watercolours, I have been using my heat tool a lot. <laughs> I decided to get this because when I'm filming videos when I'm using paint, it's kind of tedious to constantly turn the camera on and off. So this speeds up the process and means that I'm not sitting around waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> I got this one from the range. It is the Paper Mania one and it was $9.99, which I think is a very good price. I haven't really had any problems with it. It did turn itself off at one point. Um, but I think that might have been because I was overusing it and it got too hot. So I'm glad it turned itself off rather than exploded in my hands. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I've had absolutely no problems with it. It has a little 
foot on it so you don't have to leave it on your desk and burn your desk. The only thing with one of these that you have to be cautious of is it's not a hairdryer. It is 10 times hotter than a hairdryer. You don't want to be pointing this anywhere near your face. <laughs> Um, it is very very hot but yeah obviously that means it gets the job done though when it comes down to drying pages and then this one might be a given because you've seen the videos that I've done on it already but my 4x4 album I am obsessed with I never thought I would be an album scrapbooker journaler I didn't think I'd be able to kind of get along with the format I'm so used to having my journaling pages all kind of rough and all over the place but to do a project in order like date or Order from start to finish I really really enjoyed it I do still have some things to catch up on in here but I'm loving how it's going together I'm pretty sure though the 4x4 format is the reason I stuck with this I love the dinkiness of this album I'm definitely gonna have to look into finding some more albums of this size because I know in 2018 I'm gonna want to do some more little scrapbook projects like this if you haven't seen my videos on this I'll leave them below I did a video on what I was planning to do for my December daily and I also did a video on like a process video of me doing some of the pages as well so these are all my current favorites at the moment I apologize for a lot of them being surrounded by water colouring but that is what I am currently obsessed with <laughs> so it'd be silly not to include them in my favourites video. But yeah let me know below what you guys are currently obsessed with. I do miss doing these videos for that side of things like finding out what you guys are loving at the moment and potentially finding something else that I can be obsessed with <laughs> so feel free to share those below and we can have a good old natter down there. As always everything will be linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.